Congratulations! You just took the next big step in your cryptocurrency evolution. You've just decided to move your ADA off of an exchange onto your very own wallet. Your keys, your coins. Well done. Today we're going to help you set up your Daedalus wallet. In just a few minutes, you'll be able to relax and breathe a sigh of relief knowing that you're no longer at risk of having your coins hacked off of an exchange and instead they're fully under your control. From there, all you need to do is pick your favorite stake pool and sit back and relax as your ADA generates staking interest and rewards for you risk-free. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information that you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today we're going to take a look at the Daedalus wallet. We'll look at where to get it, how to fund it with the ADA that you purchase on the exchange, and then how to delegate that ADA risk-free to your favorite stake pool. As always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more content like this, subscribe and turn on notifications. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so first thing we're going to do to get our wallet is we're going to go to cardano.org. As always, make sure that you don't do a Google search or click on some other link. Make sure that you manually type in cardano.org to make sure that you're at the site that you think you are. There are very sophisticated phishing campaigns out there and lots of people trying to steal your money and trying to steal your coins. Make sure you're always manually typing where you're going and that you are sure where you're ending up. So uh, we're going to go to individuals and we're going to see here the Daedalus wallet. So let's go ahead and click on it. Um, there's some information here about the wallet and how it works. If you're curious about that, um, check out our uh, previous video where we go through all the different wallet options for Cardano and the pros and cons of each. But for now, we'll just go straight to the download. So I'm going to click download. Okay, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to do the Mac version. Oh yeah, that's fine. And we're going to let it start downloading. Okay, so it looks like it's done. So let's go ahead and start the installation process. Probably skip through most of this. Okay, and it's all done. So we'll go ahead and close that. Now that it's done, we can open it in Finder. Okay, and while it's spinning up, we see these indicators on the bottom. They're a little bit confusing, but basically um, you want all four to turn green. This is the first time, so it might take a second. We see that it's running. It's uh, the node itself that is built on top of is not responding yet. <clears throat> It's checking to see if the sync of the network and what's on your computer match. Uh, and it's actually not in the process of syncing yet. So once all of these turn green, it'll go ahead and boot up and there we go. Okay, so we see that we have multiple options here. We can create a wallet, we can restore one, or we can pair, okay? These two are options where Daedalus is going to give you the 24 word security phrase uh, itself and that's gonna be the way that you uh, can access and restore your wallet if you need to. And this pairing one is to actually sync up to your external hardware wallet like a Ledger or a Trezor. I personally use the Ledger Nano X. Hardware wallets are the way to go in terms of security. If you don't have one and you're curious about the process of setting one up and you've always kind of wondered about it, check out our video on that. We did a deep dive going all the way through from ordering it to getting it all the way set up. Um, so definitely look into that if, uh, if that's something you're interested in. That's what we're gonna to use today, but I wanna show you what the other options are. So if you wanted to use what, what people call a Daedalus wallet, um, then you can, let's do a test wallet here. And what you'll see, I'm gonna enter a password. What we'll see here is that it's gonna give us a recovery phrase of 24 words. And basically that, similar to how the hardware wallets use the 24 words to restore the wallet if anything goes wrong, but you have the physical wallet in hand, for this Daedalus wallet, that 24 word phrase is the only thing you have and the only way that you can verify that it's you. So it's super, super important that you hold on to that if you decide to go down this route. You say, I confirm, and it's gonna show us now a list of what those words would be. I'm not gonna actually create this wallet, but if I did, these would be the words that I would use that are going to be used to create my private key to sign all of my transactions as me. You need to write it down and keep it in a safe place because if for any reason your wallet becomes corrupted or this, uh, the Daedalus app becomes corrupted, it's only with these words that only get shown to you this one time that you can restore it, okay? So I'm gonna close out of here, but that's just a heads up on, on how that works. Um, separately, you can also restore a wallet using those words. So let's say, for example, you wrote them down, you had them stored away, um, your computer crashes. You get a new computer, you download Daedalus, you can go to restore, and you can use uh, Daedalus wallet 24 words, and you would enter your 24 words here, and it would set everything back up with all of your private keys again. 
Again, remember, the private keys are generated from the 24 word phrase, so you need that. It's the only way that you can get it back. Now, all of that being said, the safer option, if you have it, is to use a hardware wallet. One thing I do want to clarify, though, is that for those of you who do not yet have a hardware wallet, and those who uh, sort of came to this video because you are specifically looking for the option of creating a dataless wallet through the application with the 24 words, that's a totally fine option. It's still much more secure than having your coin sitting on the exchange, and so definitely uh, I would encourage you to go down that route and still separate yourself from the exchange and you have physical custody of your own coins. I'm just suggesting that in the future, if you're able to, uh, ideally be able to get a hardware wallet. But everything that we're about to do um, works exactly the same way, whether or not you have the physical hardware wallet paired up or if you're using the actual true dataless wallet uh, of the word generation that it gives you. Okay, so we're going to continue through the demo using uh, the hardware wallet just because that's what I have and what I prefer. But for those of you who have come here to see how Daedalus works and you want to sort of set this whole thing up from scratch, what we showed with the 24 words that it gives you, that's just how you first get it set up. And then once you continue past that screen, everything functions exactly the same way. So, so don't fret, you're good to go there. I personally use um, the uh, Ledger Nano X, okay? And that's what we're gonna use for the rest of this demo. Okay, so the way that I do that is I go ahead and pair it. It's gonna ask me to connect it. And once it's connected, it's gonna ask me to enter my pin to unlock the device. So I'm gonna do that, okay? And so now, oh, so, and now I need to enter the, uh, I need to launch the Cardano application. And now we're waiting on Daedalus here. Okay, so now it's asking me to uh, confirm the export of my public key. I'm gonna confirm that. Keep in mind, the private keys never leave this device, but the public key is what's shared back and forth so that the network is aware of who you are. Okay, so here we are. We are now inside of Daedalus. Great, so this is syncing up. In the meantime, while this syncs up, let's take a look at what's going on here. All right, we've got uh, here's our, uh, our wallet information, a summary where we can send and receive uh, and a li uh, history of our transactions. This here is going to be the uh, delegation center where we can see different stake pools and we can delegate to them. This section here is for the incentivized testnet. Uh, if you'd have participated in that back in the day, um, I don't imagine that most of you that are uh, trying to learn about Daedalus have, but if you did, you would enter your wallet recovery phrase here and you would be able to get your funds for participating in the ITN. And here we have just some general settings. So one thing to note, you'll see here, the balance and transaction history of this wallet is 6% synced with the blockchain. So the way that the Daedalus wallet works, as we mentioned in our previous video going through the different wallet details, is that what we've actually downloaded here is a fully functioning Cardano node. The same Cardano node that runs on the stake pools that validate with the networks is what this Daedalus wallet is built on top of. And so one of the uh, features of it is that it is always fully synced with the Cardano blockchain. What this means is that when you first download it, it's going to have to go through the process of syncing up its ledger of record with the blockchain. So it's going to take a bit. I mean, we've already made it about 10%, but it can take up to an hour or two um, the first time. And then every time that you open it, it's going to just sync the difference of whatever has happened since the last time you opened it. So if you don't open it for several weeks, it might take you know maybe 10 minutes or so, um, but usually it takes less than about five minutes to sync up, especially if you're opening it um, every few days. So at this point right now, the whole thing's gonna run kind of slow because it's doing this syncing in the background. So at this point right now, uh, I'm gonna pause and we'll come back when this is synced to 100% and we can dive in a little bit more to what some of these options are. But yeah, for right now, we're just gonna wait and let this get caught up. Okay, so it looks like we're fully synced. Um, right now, on the top left here, we see uh, the name of my device, the Ledger Nano X. Um, if you had created your wallet using the 24 words, it would have whatever name that you gave it. You see a little symbol here shows that I'm paired, but otherwise, um, this, everything from here forward will work exactly the same way. So uh, I have my wallet selected. See that right now I have zero ADA. So let's take a look again at some of our options now that it's not so laggy. I see on the summary screen here, I have no ADA because it's a brand new wallet. If I wanna to send to somebody, I just put in their address and the amount that I wanna send, really straightforward. 
if I want to receive ADA, here's a list of all different addresses that correspond to this wallet that I can receive. And then this is a transaction history that you can actually export, which is really nice. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna want to fund this wallet with the ADA that we wanna store on here. This is the exciting part, right? So um, you just come here, click on an address. Uh, if you're doing it from, uh, from an exchange that you have a, a mobile application, you can scan with a QR code. If not, you can click copy and just take this address over to uh, the exchange that you're logged into. Um, go to uh, export or send, depending on the exchange, they're all different. Um, you could withdraw or export, whatever it's called. Paste this address in, uh, put the total amount of data that you wanna send over and then uh, send it over to here. What I would say though, as a caution, anytime that you're ever doing transfers of cryptocurrency, I highly recommend that you do a small transaction first to make sure that it goes through um, and then subsequently do the rest. So as best practices, I'll do the same thing. Um, I'll send a small transaction to make sure that it's passed and then I'll send the rest. So let me uh, go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so my test transaction went through. I see that I have received my one ADA. Um, if I go to my list of transactions, I can see here where it came through. Uh, when I go to receive, right, this was the address that I had used. Um, and I think it says it here, yeah, to protect your privacy, you probably wanna use a new address each time. Um, so it'll show you in gray the ones that you've used before. But now that we've confirmed that the transaction went through successfully, you can go ahead and send the rest of your funds to your address uh, and then you'll now have them all in one place. So once you've done that, congratulations, you are now, there's a big step, right? You are now holding all of your own ADA in one place on your own personal wallet and it's off of the exchange. So give yourself a pat in the back, that's a really big step. So now the last thing that we need to do um, you're gonna transfer the rest of them. For the sake of this, uh, of this exercise, I'll just work with just the, the one. But um, yeah, you, you just, as you buy stuff on the exchange, what I personally do is every time I go to exchange and I buy some amount of ADA, I just pretty much immediately then send it over to my wallet. And so let's say now you've sent everything over. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is delegate this ADA to a stake pool um, where we can just risk-free be returning, uh, sorry, be receiving uh, staking rewards and actually uh, get get some uh, interest paid to us. So here's the delegation center, this tab over here. Um, you see some information about when the next uh, epic is starting, the current one that we're in, the slot that we're in. We're gonna do a separate video on how the delegation cycle works for Cardano, um, the epics, how much lag there is. They give you an idea here where they say um, that they last five days and there's a certain lag, but we'll go into more, more detail for it. We see here in our delegation center also that for this address, right now we are undelegated. And for the upcoming epics, uh, we see that uh, we need to delegate to actually get some rewards. If we click here on stake pools, it'll populate for us all the stake pools on the network. So now if you wanna delegate to one, all you need to do is just, you can just click on one and then click delegate to this pool. Separately, if you have a specific pool in mind, you can go here and you can search for them. A great one would be, if you all would like to support the channel, you can uh, do a search for our Aspen stake pool. Okay, so uh, right here, as you can see, we're pretty far down the list. Um, we could really, uh, uh, we'd really appreciate your support in uh, getting our pool saturated and off the ground. Um, that's why we do uh, great content for you, so hopefully you can help us out as well. Um, you would click on Aspen, and then you would click Delegate to this pool. Um, uh, there are fees, uh, okay, yeah, so we would select it and, okay, so hit continue. Yeah, that's what I thought. So it's not gonna let me do it because I only put one ADA on here. You need a minimum of 10 to do it, um, but it really is that straightforward. Once you have your, uh, your Cardano on the wallet, assuming you have more than 10, you would pick the pool that you wanna delegate to and you click delegate and then you're just done and you're ready to go. Um, from there, the delegation center will let you know what rewards you're getting when as your rewards come in, you'll see this balance populating here. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So that's it. So you've set up your data list. You've gotten uh, your funds sent over. You've successfully delegated to a stake pool. And you have all of your coins and now you can just relax. Hopefully that was useful. Um, please let us know if there are additional videos that you'd like to see. If anything in this video was confusing or if there's anything you have any questions about, feel free to put a comment below. We'll respond to all comments. Um, so yeah, let us know what we can help you with in the future. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe so you can keep uh, up to date on our videos that are coming out and uh, turn on the notifications bell as well. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.